because he can't see nor hear anything. The sun rose bright as gold and the heavens were embellished with clear blue skies. In the distance, the full moon picked up mist of the darkness with thousands of sparkling and twinkling stars. God gracefully lifted his powerful hands and in just a snap, the earth was created. Trees and grasses sprouted from the lands and fragrant flowers came into bloom. Oceans waved and surged, where rivers outrageously flowed. Birds flew freely in the skies, and they rested to sing for a while. One day, the king of birds flew and explored the wild blue yonder. From a distance, he saw a lofty bamboo. He hurried through the bamboo and stopped for a short rest. felt there was something not coming from the top bamboo. He was sure he heard a voice. Set me free, O stalwart king of birds! was the plea. Peck harder, I can't breathe. It's a confinement. It might be a trap, the bird thought. All of a sudden, the tall bamboo broke. To the bird's surprise, a handsome man emerged from the tall bamboo. Thanks, O oh great king of birds. My name is Malakas. Please continue pecking the bamboo. Release my partner with your grace and power. Once again, the bird pecked the bamboo. A modest and beautiful woman came out of the bamboo. She is my wife. Her name is Maganda. You freed us, O oh king of birds. You must live with us forever. I can, replied the bird. I am, but one bird in my home is the immense blue skies. I travel with the wind. My wings were intended for flight. But I would always sing for you, even if when I'm gone. My nestlings would also sing for you. With their rhythmic voices, they would sing the song I sang for both of you. Come, ride in my massive wings. I would bring you to the land of the morning. There you must live and stay. Malakas and Maganda reached the land of green lands. It shone with the brightness of golden sun. The whole land was a vast of glistering pearls of the east. There in the land of the morning, Malakas and Maganda lived together, the first parents of the Filipino race.